In camera, what was highlighted was a matter of extra judicial killings by Superintendent Asari. And he said all the extra judicial killings that he, he, he mentioned, whether it was a killing on the Aplao Road, whether it was a killing in Bole Bamboy, whether it was a killing at uh, Botiama, whether it was a killing of Nigerians at the police headquarters, we invited him to proof. In other words, support the committee. And he said he didn't have any witness. In other words, he didn't have anybody to support him, apart from one person that he mentioned the name, one ASP Jalil. Mr. Speaker, as we were getting excited to invite Jalil to the committee, Jalil wrote a letter to the committee. And if you permit me, I read. Re request to invite witnesses to testify. Please accept my warm compliment. On Saturday, the 23rd day of September 2023, there was a letter with the above heading circulating on various police and social media platforms. Paragraph two of the said letter stated to the effect that I would be called as witness of Superintendent George Asari, who alleged that there were some extrajudicial killings by the Inspector General of Police, to testify in the ongoing parliamentary probe. I state that there has been no such arrangement or agreement to testify on Superintendent Asari's behalf for which any such communication should be disregarded and treated with the utmost contempt that it desires. So when we found this, the committee sat and said, let's agree on one thing. Superintendent Asari, during the public hearing, talked about extrajudicial killing. In camera, he repeated the same. We are going to give Superintendent Asari the last opportunity. If it comes and it is a hearsay evidence, we will end the matter there. Here comes Superintendent Asari, who wants to rely on ASP Jalil.